if you have that plan in place, that becomes easier right away. The first indication that you need somebody is you're working 20 hours a day, not getting enough sleep, and it's been going on for weeks. Now, when you're starting, I would always advise is look at it project for project. Now, if, if you keep hiring somebody on a weekly basis, that person now, that person is actually a part-timer for you because you're essentially hiring this person constantly. That's when you have to stop and think, okay, it's been two months, three months, and I've always been hiring this person to, to help me give an extra hand to do this, this, and the other. You know what? It's probably better for me and for that person if they work in-house. And then that becomes a discussion. Every job is different and every, every product or service is different and you really need to see the scope of that. But essentially my take is if you're going a few months always needing that extra hand, that's when you need to get somebody else. And that's how I would do it. Just to keep, make sure that you're keeping your costs as low as possible and work your ass off. You need to remember, you know, every other week or every week, depending on how you're gonna pay people, those checks have to come out and that money has to come out of your business. If you're not bringing it in, it's a bad, bad uh, business plan. Yeah.